Hello and welcome to my channel. This is James' studio and I am James and if you have clicked on this video I am assuming you've been very lucky in getting through to the video interview stage of the BBC Production Apprenticeship application process. So if you have, congratulations and I'm assuming if you are watching this video you're looking for some tips and some advice. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to talk you through my story and my experience and some of the things that I found through doing it. Um, so <laughs> the start of my video interviews like process was actually quite stressful because they send you a link to log on to the system to be able to do the interview and my link wasn't working and I couldn't get through to the right people to get onto it and it was very very stressful and in the email it says there's a deadline to do it and it was fast approaching this deadline so it was very stressful for me um, so I think the first thing first top tip is make sure your link works and you don't leave it till last minute. You want as much time as you possibly can should anything go wrong. Once I got logged in, I was able to start the interview. So I actually prepared for this by just making, thinking about what a video interview entails. So obviously I was going to be on camera. I wanted to make sure that A, my face will look good. Like it always does. It doesn't always look good. But anyway, I wanted to make sure that I look really good, really presentable and looked yeah looked okay so I did my hair and one thing that I made like an extra effort for was the background of the video I made sure I had my backdrop set up and my filming light on because nobody wants to watch a video that's like poorly lit or a really scummy background you want it to look as nice as possible because it, it, I think in my mind it shows that you have that creative flair and that you, you know what looks good in a frame, um, which is all very applicable to the scheme. Obviously, it's not, it's, not, it's not compulsory you do that, but that's just something that I did to make just me feel a bit more confident and comfortable with doing the interview. So I did my interview on my phone and I did it handheld like selfie mode. Um, that's, that's how I filmed it. So you log in and you can view the questions now. From my memory, this was a, <laughs> it was a long time ago I did my interview. Um, so I had, there was three questions I had to answer and they had to, they were allowed to be up to two minutes in length. So it could be less, but it couldn't be any more than two minutes. So I only had six minutes of filming to do, which is nothing really. When you think about over three questions, six minutes is nothing. So I get through to the first question and I read it and I instantly thought, what do I say? I panicked, uh, my mind went blank. So what I did was I just did the take and it, crashed and I had to start again, which I'm thankful for because it, <laughs> I needed the practice. So I actually ended up making a little note of what I was going to say. Um, and this is the very first note in this notebook, actually. Um, so reading this back, I believe the question was something about how has BBC shaped you or so it was something like that, like what does the BBC mean to you or something like that. Um, I totally could be wrong, but reading from this note, I'm talking about growing up watching BBC. Um, so I'm assuming that's what the question was about. So I actually made that note so that if something went wrong, I didn't have to completely think again about what I was going to say. Um, and I did that probably three or four times before I pressed submit on that question. And obviously when you submit it, it doesn't submit it all. It kind of saves that video and you can go back and redo it if needs be. I think it, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, it was such a, a blurry process. So then you get onto the second question. So from, from reading that note, I assumed the question was something along, along the lines of why do you want to work for the BBC? Why do you want to work in TV? Uh, why the BBC kind of thing? I think that was the kind of vibe that question was going for. Um, so again, I made notes. I thought about it for a long time before like, so this is six minutes of filming. It took me an hour and a half to do this this process because it kept crashing. My mind kept going blank and I didn't know what to say. Um, and then I didn't make any notes for the final question because I remember it. Uh, the final question was, I, well, it was, I had to pitch a TV show, come up with an idea and kind of sell it. And obviously that the questions could, will probably be different this year. I don't know. Um, so I can only speak from my experience, but I had to pitch a TV show, which thankfully um, I had one in my mind that I wanted to make for years. Um, and you had to think about the audience, what platform it was going to be on, and just kind of explain that. So I did that with such confidence. And 
yeah, I submitted my answers after an hour and a half of filming. And yeah, I will never forget that day because I remember exactly what t-shirt I was wearing. I took a really cute selfie with the lighting. And yes, yeah, so some of my top tips for if you are doing the video interview at the moment is obviously make the background look as nice as you can. Um, plan your questions before you say, like have a think before you do it. You've got plenty of time to do it. Like, don't worry. Make sure you've got plenty of time to do it. So if you've got your email and it says you've got until the 23rd of March, don't leave till the 22nd of March to do it. Do it as soon as you get the email, like as soon as you possibly can. Um, I think one thing that's really important to remember is the video interview isn't set up to trick you or to knock you down or it's not there to, to hinder you. It's just there so the people who are like employing you can actually see you as a person like hear your voice, get, get a vibe for your personality. So I think just let your personality shine through. Your answers don't have to be like amazing. Obviously make them as good as you can. But I think my understanding of the video interview is to kind of understand you as a person. So be, be confident, let your personality shine through. Like it's all about being individual. And I think if you just have plenty of practice, you can be confident and let that shine through. Like for me, I'm naturally comfortable in front of a camera, like doing this YouTube thing, it's made me comfortable in front of the camera. So if you get a chance to maybe have some practice um, in front of the camera before you do your interview, just so it's more comfortable to watch and you can retake, like refilm it as many times as you like, make sure you're happy with it before you submit it. And if you're not happy with it, change it. Something else that I think is also kind of important, it's kind of sticking with like the backdrop and making sure you just have good quality is making sure that your phone is of a good quality. Obviously, this this isn't essential. This isn't, you must do this to get the job at all. It's just, think about what you would like to watch. So if you're getting thousands, I don't know, thousands, I don't know how many people get the video interview, but you're getting a lot of video interviews to go through. You wanna make sure they're like nice to watch. Like, so if you've got, if you've got an old phone, see if you can borrow your friend's phone to film it on. Kind of just make it, make it the best quality you possibly can and just make it comfortable to watch because they're gonna be watching a lot and you need to stand out. So if that means wearing some crazy jacket that shows you're a really fun gal, wear that funky jacket, wear those funny specs, like whatever makes you stand out, do it, but don't don't be over the top. Just, just be you because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for individuality. They're looking to see your personality. Just see how you're, it's just kind of like a further like adaption of your written out application form. Um, so yeah, I hope that's been somewhat helpful. It's been a long time since I did my video interview, so I apologize if this is, hasn't been very useful. Um, if you've made it to this point in the process, congratulations, like you've done amazing to get this far already. Like, honestly, I remember the excitement I had when I was in this that position. Make sure you check out my playlist of other BBC apprenticeship videos all about my scheme and how I got the job. Make sure you subscribe and you'll get those little notifications if you hit that bell, it'll tell you when I upload. It might be more useful content, it might just be who knows what. Um, thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this useful and enjoyed it and I'll see you next time, bye bye.